everyone welcome back to another video i hope you guys are doing well i figured i would vlog for you guys today because i haven't vlogged in a while and i have some footage from oak and fort that i wanted to show you guys and i want to let you know about they have this huge sale going on right now so if you like aritzia clothing but don't like the prices a lot of times oak and fort has like dupes and stuff like that i didn't spoiler i didn't end up getting any clothing there because, um, to be honest, the quality was pretty, like, not good. And one of my subbies, Cindy, hi Cindy, if you're watching, she told me that Oakenfort actually gets their clothing from, like, same places that sell, it's like Yes Style and stuff like that, so a lot of times it's, like, uh, one size or kind of in that range whereas like Aritzia has their in-house designers designing and they produce their own clothes which is why the quality is like nicer and stuff like that um so as soon as I touched like a couple items I was also very lazy I didn't want to try anything on it I was just like mm, I don't want really I already have so many clothes so like I don't want to buy this just for the sake of like reviewing it so um, I want to show you guys that footage just in case you are interested if you don't really care so much for the quality and you just kind of want the look it's a good option it's really cheap I have to say like super super affordable right now so let me show you that all right so I feel like we need to get a little bit serious and speak about the Asian hate again you guys already know I've been talking about it I've been speaking about it. I even sneakily placed it in a Ritzia video that I made because I knew it would get clicks. It's getting really bad. This past week there was the Atlanta shooting where six of the victims were of Asian descent. It's getting really bad. People are targeting the elderly. It's progressively getting bad and I feel like it's gained its momentum. However, people are still not talking about it. I went down my list of like people that I follow which I don't follow a lot of people and I unfollowed a bunch of people or a bunch of creators that were not speaking about it it's very disgusting even like a lot of my friends have not been talking about it which is very it's just very disappointing to see I want people to be speaking about it it's a huge issue and these same people have a black square on their timeline it's like bro you cannot be for one and not for the other it, and I'm not trying to take away the significance and importance of one or the other, but like, I'm just saying, you cannot be rallying for one and not rally for the other. It just does not make sense. But a tragedy has happened. It's really been affecting me because I'm just like, what the heck is wrong with this world? But I wanted to reiterate, as I've made a video last year, my open letter, and I donated money um, with the proceeds of that video to an organization local to Toronto. I, I really believe in like just donating to your local community with an organization that is specific to, to the cause. So personally, I'm going to donate on behalf of the Hello Harley family here. I'm going to donate to the Chinese and Southeast Asian Legal Clinic. I will donate the proceeds of this video. I'll probably donate the proceeds of an upcoming Aritzia video as well. And then I will also be just donating my out of my own pocket. Okay. So I don't want to butcher this because... I feel like the information is very important, but I'm specifically donating to this organization because Avi Go, who is a Chinese Canadian lawyer, she's the executive director of this organization. The organization is the Chinese and Southeast Asian Legal Clinic. I'm going to read off their site now. Uh, the Chinese and Southeast Asian Legal Clinic is a community-based legal clinic funded by Legal Aid Ontario, which provides free legal services to low-income, non-English-speaking clients from the Chinese, Vietnamese, Laotian, and Cambodian communities in Ontario. They are non-profit and are independent from the government. The clinic is overseen by volunteer community-based board of directors. So I will personally be donating to them. 
I also did see on Subtle Asian Traits, if you guys are part of that group, somebody asked about like local Toronto organizations and somebody talked about Butterfly Asian and Migrant Sex Worker Network. This one is obviously helping to support the Asian and migrant sex workers. So I think I will donate there as well. But yeah, I'm going to leave this in the description box below. I've never taken out the description box um, if you guys notice, since the African food basket, we've never taken it out. It's always before all my information. If you want to click on the information to see like items that I talk about, you have to see that before you see anything else. I've never taken off Soy Toronto. I'm going to add those to the list because obviously we need to keep learning, we need to keep sharing, we need to keep donating to these grassroots organizations. Uh, if you are from another part of the world obviously you might not want to donate to the local Toronto ones but I urge you to do some research and donate to the ones near you and just keep talking just keep creating a conversation yeah so I hope you guys donate and sorry for this long rant okay welcome back to my video guys I'm at open port there's a huge sale everything has an additional 20% off so I have these awesome Okay, I'll try them on. Thank you so much. Let's go try them on. Okay, that's what they look like. They're so cute. 58 plus 20% off. Here's my outfit, by the way. On a jacket, Ashbury sweater, Levi's wedgie fit, have my hair in a ponytail, Ghana. My Louis Vuitton black chapeau. These are so cute. So many cute things, like these sunglasses. Other jewelry. Okay, I found this cloud puff soup. It's duck down. It feels less puffy. Um, it was 188. It's now 94 plus 20% off. That's pretty good. I'll put it on. I think it's more crop than um, the cloud puff and more like boxy. Like the cloud puff goes in a little bit. So cute. I just want to show you guys. They honestly have so many things. Oh shit. Okay, I feel so bad because uh, this was really impromptu and I didn't like expect to film. Oh my god, everything is falling off. Let me just get, fix this. Like, look at these cargo pants. Um, 78 originally, 46 and then 20% off on top of that. Like, a lot of sweatshirts. The, there's this sweatshirt, it's $22. It's literally like the boyfriend cropped, except it's not a raw hemline. Here's the Oakenfort version of that dog shirt from Sunday Best, that candy shirt. But this one's not embroidered. A lot of t-shirts, they're so cheap. $8, y'all. You could buy them and sleep in them. A lot of sweaters, this vest, 34. This sweater is cool, but it's $64. Blazers, other sweaters. All their coats are on sale too. Oh my God, is this a Pelly lookalike? Oh no, it's a trench coat. It's a huge trench coat. Oh, here's a Ghana lookalike. I saw it all over TikTok, it's 64 plus 20% off, but it feels really scratchy and not nice. I'm not being biased. It really feels gross. It does not feel good. That's cute. That looks like the like, Cabrera or whatever. Let's look at the men's. Like a hoodie. But he's only 28. Okay, this could be like a boyfriend one. Plus 20% off. That's really cheap. These are mock necks. These feel kind of weird. And then huge sweater dresses. Nothing really cute. Like the quality feels really not that nice. And I'm not being biased. Purples. All right, it is way later in the day i didn't show you guys um 
Also, if you were wondering where that popsicle was from, it's from the pop stand. And I also got a cupcake for myself from the pop stand, which is really cute. This one is, I think, Earl Grey Lavender. And then I got some stuff from Mary's Brigadero's because I'm going to see Daniela on uh, Sunday, I think. So I wanted to get her a gift for Christmas, but because I couldn't see her for Christmas, I originally bought her Brigadero's, but because I couldn't see her for Christmas, um, obviously I ended up giving those Brigadero's to someone else, and then I bought her some new stuff, so I got her these. These are the OMG cookies. They usually comes in, come in tins, but I don't know why they packaged them separately this time, like this. It was three. It comes in three, and I think they are $12 or something. And then I just also got her a small four pack of Brigadero's. I can't open them to show you guys what they look like, but essentially I'll show you guys which ones I picked for her. I picked her White Pearl Strawberry Cream, Dark Passion Fruit, and I think Cappuccino. So this is what they look like. Amazing business. You guys know I always talk about them. Hehe, <laughs> I barbecued. Just get out of the way. <laughs> Avocado. <gasps> it's falling out. This is the bulgogi. Damn. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I forget how like messy vlogging is when I haven't vlogged for a while. So Wonder Egg was pretty good, although I'll probably just give it a 6 out of 10 because it was like my toppings were on the top and then the egg is on the bottom and everything underneath was like sweet and I like myself some like sweet and savory food but that was like really sweet and then I went to LCBO because I wanted to find a sake I think I saw my friend Samantha post it Samantha-san and this is it I finally found it. It took me to LCBOs to find it, but I finally found it. I didn't know it was gonna be such a big bottle, um, but this was like 20 bucks, so not bad. I don't know what it is about mayonnaise that just grosses me out, but it just grosses me out. Okay. And there we have it, my meal prep. My Chipotle copycat chicken, my salads. All right, everyone, I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm just going to do mundane stuff for the rest of the day. I'm just probably going to finish editing some uh, videos and then tomorrow I am filming a ton of videos so I can't take you along the vlogs there uh, because I'm going to be filming other stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I do want to apologize. I originally want to take you guys out and see the world. I hope you understood that reference. But um, I got flustered because I have not been out in like so long since we've been in lockdown and I have, the only time I go out is when I go grocery shopping or when I go quickly get my takeout to support my local restaurants. So anyways, I'm so sorry. I will try to get better at vlogging. But let me know what you guys wanna see. See you guys in the next one. But before I go, let me show you guys Harbolino. See you guys later. Oh yeah, he probably has to go to the park, but uh, I don't want to vlog him going to the park because I have to touch his poop. Well, not touch it, but you know, I have to, I have to like beg his poop when he goes poop. So it's kind of gross. <laughs>